the face scanner, SNAP. This is DOF Incorporated. In the last video, we explained in detail how to use SNAP to run a scan. I hope you all experienced that the scanning process was really quick and convenient. Now, let's find out how the data can be acquired from SNAP and applied. Before you design, it is necessary to select a toothstone model and run a target bite scan. To do so, we have prepared DOF's Freedom HD scanner. Take a look at how our Freedom HD and scan app are used to run the process. First, launch scan app to scan the stone models. Then, select Use Face Scan Data in the scanning options for integration with the face scan project and proceed to stone model scan. Place the target bytes on the scan plates. Click the smile bite icon to proceed with the scan. The four targets shown must be scanned when checking the scan data. If the green targets do not appear, perform an additional scan, confirm the target scan, and finish it. Once the three points are used to match the stone model data with the byte data, the build gets processed. Click the load icon and load the project file. Tap the trim icon and edit the lip line. Check the location of the face scan data and tooth model. If there is a problem in matching the tooth model with the face data, the position of the teeth may look distorted. Perform a smile line scan, face scan, again, to generate a project file and then try the alignment again. Next is creating various planes needed for teeth design. You can create the midline, campers plane, occluso plane, and FH plane, and save them as OBJ files. Click the set plane icon and create plane. First step is creating midline. If you click the three points, which are the bases of the midline, plane is created automatically. The created plane can be rotated and moved. If you select toggle, a virtual perpendicular line appears. This line can be used as an axis to rotate the plane. Select and drag the plane to move it. Click on the three points that are the base points of the camper's plane. The plane will then be created automatically. Clicking a point in the center of your upper lip will automatically create a plane. Move the face to set the exact occlusal plane position. The occlusal plane is set parallel to the camper's plane and cannot be adjusted with toggle. Camper's plane must be set correctly in advance. Plane is created automatically when you click three points, which are the base points of the FH plane. Make sure all planes are created properly. Click the Save Data icon to save the face scan data, and click the Save STL icon to save the stone model scan data. It is possible to acquire precise data through the matching process. As our final step, let me explain how the data saved on scan app can be used to run a teeth design on ExoCAD. The Face Scanner, SNAP. After loading, scan data, run, add, remove, mesh, by clicking Expert Mode, then Tool, then Add, Remove Mesh. Select Face Scan from the Select Mesh Type item, and click the Load button at the bottom to load the data. Design provisional prosthesis using loaded face scan data. Different from how technicians rely on their senses to design, using SNAP to run a scan is advantageous in that it allows users to achieve the best results through directly looking at the patient's face and using the midline while designing. SNAP is no longer a choice. It is a must. The face scanner, SNAP.